back in the garage, back back in the garage, in the garage, in the garage, back in the garage today, back in the garage, back in the garage today. What's going on guys, back in the garage today doing a coolant change on my 2017 KTM 250 XCF. Pretty simple job, the only tools you really need for this are some sort of bucket or container to catch the coolant in. You also need an eight millimeter socket or wrench and obviously you need new coolant. The only other things you might want are a funnel and a torque wrench isn't a bad idea either. So uh, let's get to this. All right, so the first thing is you need to make sure the engine and the bike are cool. First thing we're gonna do is pop the radiator cap off. Everything's tough to do with one hand. All right, so with the radiator cap removed, we're gonna come down here on the side of the bike. This is gonna drain our uh, water pump, which is gonna drain the cooling system. That's an eight millimeter screw in right there. I've got a bucket here. I'm also gonna grab a funnel because I was too lazy to take the skid plate off to feed up under there to make sure we don't drip a bunch down on the skid plate. All right, so with all the coolant drained out of the bike, we now need to put this bolt back in. Uh, it does have a copper crush washer. I'm gonna see if I have a new one. You should put a new one on each time. If not, you could always just flip this one over and use it one more time. All right, so with the crusher washer on the end of the screw or bolt, whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna thread that back in. It calls for 10 newton meters of torque or 7.4 foot pounds. Now we're gonna stick a funnel in our radiator up here. What we're trying to do is fill it up right above the fin. So right about this line right here. It calls for, I believe it's 0.95 liters or one US quart. I'm using this Maxima coolant in mine. I've used other stuff, it's all about the same. Just make sure it is motorcycle specific coolant. All right, so if we look down in there, we can see it's up to the right level. The next step is we're gonna put the radiator cap back on and then you should go take it for a test ride and then check it again. However, I'm not going to do that because it's ridiculously cold out today. So instead, uh, I will check it again here after I take my first ride on it. But um, anyway, that is how you do a coolant change in a 2017 KTM 250 XCF. It's very similar in the other dirt bike models and really just about any motorcycle. So um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about the coolant change, I don't know why you would. You drain the coolant out and you put new coolant in. Let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.